All right, all you celebratorial human chiropractors out there, welcome back to Under the Radar. And we just got word from Maestro as of this week in the history of Under the Radar would mark the four-year anniversary of this part of the show. So without further ado, I think it's time for us to light a ring of fire and get ready to jump right through it for a very special four-year anniversary edition of the Wild World of Stunts. And like I said earlier, remember folks, Four seems to be a magic number for the show. Really is. And besides that four number, I got a feeling we're going to take to the bank. The first stunt that we have up for tonight comes from the stunner Michael 101. Nice name, by the way. With his said stunt known as GTA Stunts. Hashtag. I think he got it backwards, but with all the flips this guy did, I got a feeling I know the reason why. Now, during this set stunt, folks, and we might as well call him Michael, even though his name is Michael, would be able to take a four-wheeler out to the Los Santos International Airport and just jump right into the air, pulling off a gyroscope, and I think he did this by accident, because these ATVs are very top-heavy, and would be able to pull it off not once, but would do a second one in a medley form, landing on all four wheels like what, Maestro? Like a glove! For him to not only do it once, but then to go onto the main ramp, that buggy ramp that would have with the Mini Cooper on the side, jump up that ramp and do a backflip backwards. And don't ask me how he was able to do this, but would land backwards on all four wheels once again, like what, Maestro? Like a glove? For the maestro and the PR department and the doctors to be stunned into silence after this stunt. And would just hold up pens wondering how in the world he did this. And once again, to explain to you guys and gals at home and to the PR department, the vehicle is top heavy. The only reason I can say he was able to pull it off and good job Michael for this awesome stunt. And the next stunt that we have up comes from the stunner CH7891. And I'm not sure that's how many channels is on a TV featuring stunts or not, but we'll go with it. With his said stunt, word. <laughs> and the reason why we said that, for folks, <laughs> because this guy has three or five W's with an R after it, which I got a feeling was the sound his car made when it went in slow motion, cause this guy, who we're gonna call Channel, decided to go onto a custom race track to show his skills, and would do so beautifully by pulling off the second gyroscope of this part of the Wild World of Stunts for this week, and would even do it in slow motion, land Standing on his wheels sideways while drifting, like what, Maestro? Like a glove. For him to just drive through the rest of this stunt track and pull off yet another successful landing at the end of it all. And yes, he would land on his wheels once again, Maestro, but I got a feeling, me saying that again, it's, you know, everybody gets it at home how he landed on his wheels, so. For the four-year anniversary of the Wild World of Stunts, everybody at home, sing it with me now. If you know the song, sing along. Like a glove. <laughs> and congratulations on this awesome stunt that the PR department and the doctors would once again give a perfect 10 to, and I would have to agree. Anyway, folks... The next stunt that we have up comes from the stunner, Mergiver. <laughs> Mergiver, that is an awesome name. With his said stunt, don't back up. And yeah, MacGyver or Mergiver sort of looked like MacGruber during this very stunt because 
with an unknown driver in the front seat, MacGyver here would be on the back of this giant oversized phantom wedge, just causing chaos as the driver would cause an officer that goes by the name of Jones to dive out of the way of this phantom wedge and hit his head directly onto the front of a wandering BMW. Ouch! And to make matters worse, and the reason why this is called Don't Back Up, folks, it's because MacGyver, or MacGyver here, decided to throw a whole bunch of grenades to try to beat away the cops, only for the driver to back up, and for MacGyver in the back to say, Hey buddy, don't back up, I threw some grenades, don't do it brother, don't do it! But before he can even finish that don't do it, BOOM! would land right on the top of that grenade, MacGyver would go Mer flying into the air and land face first on the road. And the driver? Well, he would be able to survive that grenade blast, but it would be in a full body cast according to the doctors. And MacGyver? Well, he would break his leg and not to mention would end up with a whole bunch of shrapnel in his hip due to the truck explosion. Ugh. So they're going to be spending hours trying to pull that out, right? Yeah. Did it hit his kidney? Oh no, no, the kidney's good. The kidney's good. <laughs> Thank God. Anyway, folks, the next stunt that we have up comes from the stuntress, Miss Tinkleberg. <laughs> nice name, by the way. With her stunt, Project 34. And in this said crazy stunt, it would involve her, Miss Tinkleberg, trying to take off with her oppressor Mark II, only for... Is that Greg? Wait a minute. That is Greg. And matter of fact, according to the maestro, we got the number of the stunt wrong. It was actually Project 35 by Miss Tinkleberg. And she would go flying into the distance, and Greg here, who would try to avoid it all, would get knocked over a police car that would go head over heels into full-on barrel roll mode, and for Greg to fly right over the police car, hit back first onto a top of a fence, and for the police car to land on the top of somebody else's Shelby Cobra on all four wheels, or at least two of them, like what, Maestro? Like a glove. For the police officer to try to phone it in, but at the same time would have to call an ambulance for this guy, cause he landed spine first after flying at least, what, uh, 15, 20 feet into the air and landing back first on a hard brick fence? Or at least a hard brick side wall? Yeah, uh, what damage happened to this guy? Uh, apparently according to the doctors and the PR department, he broke two ribs and he may have bruised his spine along the way. Oh wait, broken his spine. I stand corrected. Broken his spine. Thank you. <laughs> and the last but not least stunt that we have up for this week, folks, to celebrate this four-year anniversary comes from the stuntress once again and the one number we got confused, Miss Tinkleberg with her said stunt, Project 34. And I got a feeling that Project 35 and 34 were connected because the fire department who would respond to an emergency situation would not see Miss Tinkleberg driving what appears to be what a modified monster truck from the Arena Wars. And the firefighter that goes by the name of Jeff would not see the car that would come barreling toward him. And next thing you know, it would hit him right in the side of the temple. And he would get knocked flat on the side of his arm. And then get pushed all the way to the side of the road next to another parked car in that parking lot. And would suffer the wrath of what, uh, Omaha Steak, uh, Outback or uh, Red Lobster T-Bone for him to just get knocked into the side of the car and get knocked right out. But that wouldn't end there, folks, because there would be another firefighter on the scene to respond to his buddy Jeff for him to say, Hey man, you okay? 
By the way, the firefighter's name was Jack, and he would get jacked up because Miss Tinkleberg wouldn't be done with her vehicle destruction and would send another vehicle careening into the sky, only to hit Jack in the back of his head, causing him to land face first on the concrete, slide across the asphalt, and then land back first into the bushes. And if you're wondering what happened to that car after it went flying, it would go right directly into the Los Santos freeway, almost hitting the back of somebody else's car exploding on impact, only to land directly into oncoming traffic, and for the woman who was just minding her business driving, ended up hitting the car on the side, getting a roasted barbecue, most likely with steak sauce on there from good old JR, size T-bone, for the cameras to fade to black. Now, the doctors over there in the corner are telling me right now that the one firefighter who scraped his face, yeah, he's gonna need a skin graft, and he broke his jaw, and he's missing 13 teeth out of his mouth, and the other one, severe concussion and a skull fracture. Ugh. And not to mention a broken shoulder along with the dislocated one, the one that he didn't land on. Yikes! So, looks like those firefighters are gonna need an ambulance, if you know what I mean. <laughs> And if you guys want to check out any other cool and crazy stunts from people trying to get themselves maimed for unnecessary fame, you can head on over to the socialclub.rockstargames page, only known as socialclub.rockstargames.com, and just click ever so lightly on that video page to check out a whole bunch of high flyers whose plans are all going to end up going up in smoke. And I guess with that said, folks, we might as well head back into the music, and when we return, we'll be back with another edition of the GTA Online Top 5 Tracks of the Week, right after this. So don't go anywhere just yet, folks, and stay tuned. 